How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another American Truck Sim Euro Truck Sim tutorial. Going to be getting back in here today and showing you how to activate the developer console in both of these games. It will be the same for both of them. I released an original video back in 2022. I've had some people recently saying that it hasn't been working for them, so thinking maybe with the latest updates and everything, their configuration files got changed over. So let's get into it. All right, what you're gonna need to do is click your file explorer down here. If you have the little icon here on your desktop, that's gonna bring up this screen. You're gonna go into your documents, not into the actual game files in Steam. A lot of times you'll go in here and you'll right click, manage, browse local files. That'll bring up the game where it's installed. You don't want that. You want your documents where it's going to give you your files for American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim. This is where you put your mods and everything you do in game and change like that. So you'll do the same thing with both of them. You'll go down here to the configuration file. Double click on that. And you're gonna, that's gonna open up this here. You're gonna wanna click Control F. And that'll be fine. And then you're gonna type this exactly what you see right here, G. I'll redo it here, G underscore DEV for dev, hit enter. That's gonna bring you to this line right here. It says you set G underscore developer. Yours, if it is inactive, will have a zero here. You'll see mine has a one, so mine has not changed. If yours says zero, change it to one. Close all that and then come up here to file, save, and then you'll go into your American truck or Euro truck, sorry. And you'll find that same file config. You're gonna go control F, G underscore dev, hit enter. It's gonna bring it down here. You see mine is one also on this one. So for me, it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and close these out and I will see you in the game. All right, so now we are in the game. As you can see, it is raining where I'm at in Arkansas here. So the majority of the time I only use the uh, walk around cameras, I call it, to like if once I hook up to my trailer, I'll go out and check it and I'll go ahead and hit that button. That, see, that takes me out underneath the truck. So now I can go up forward or I'll go up. Now I'm outside of the truck. I'll use my mouse to walk around so I can use my mouse to walk around, I'll hook my trailer up. And I'll go over here, make sure everything's hooked up. Walk around my trailer. Check the back wheels, you know, everything looks good. Walk around the trailer, check the other side. This is kind of like a free roam camera. And with that, you can go up, down, forward, backwards, right, left. And then when you want to get back in your truck, you just hit the one button that takes you to your interior camera. And as you can see, that is, but that's that's the majority of the stuff I use. I mean, I pretty much use just that. I don't use actually any of the developer console items. I have used the command in here where you can change the time, but I don't mess around with that stuff much. I'll get in more into the keys and all that here when we're done. But I'm going to jump out of here and go into Euro Truck Sim and show you that it works in there too. So I'll see you back in just a minute. All right, now we are in Euro Truck Sim. We'll go ahead and start up our vehicle here. I don't know why my wipers are working. But I'm going to show you the same thing here. Like say you can start the, de 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 the developer console there. I don't really use that a lot except for maybe the change time. Not sure why my wipers are going off, but we'll shut the engine off. But just like in American Truck Sim, if I want to get out, hit the camera button, I can get out from underneath my truck, stand up, and then use my mouse to look around. I don't have a trailer here, so we can just walk around the truck, check out the, make sure everything's good. Park sideways in my garage, we'll check the back of it. Check out the, walk around the front. 
got our Mercedes with every light you could think of on it. So when you're walking around and you're in this mode, you can use your mouse wheel to speed up. You can see I'm rolling it forward. I'll go over here and talk to this dude. Hey, lazy butt, what are you doing? Oh, it's raining here too. Oh, the sun's out and it's raining. Just taking it easy, huh? Okay. Let's walk back over to our truck. Like I say, you can go up, down, forward, right, back, left. And you use your mouse wheel to speed up and slow down. And let's go get back in the truck. So that basically is the walk around camera. Now I'm going to go and show you guys how to set it up in your stream deck if you have one. And we'll jump back out to the desktop and I'll see you there. All right, we are back on the desktop. And as you can see, I got the thing set up here on my stream deck. I'm currently working on setting up more buttons for my uh, games, but I'll click the button right here that says dev. This will take me into the controls for the developer console. This is the button right here that I pushed that opened up the developer console that I said I don't really use. You can see that the hot key is the little, I don't know what what exactly that key's called. It's the one that's right above the tab and right to the left of the one. Then you got the camera. This is what I click when it takes me to the underside of my vehicle. That is the zero key right next to the nine. Up is the numpad nine over there on the far right in the numbers. Down is numpad 3. And then here is where you got your walking. When you want to walk straight forward is numpad 8. If you want to go to the right is numpad 6. If you want to go backwards, it's numpad 5. If you want to go to the left, it's numpad 4. And like I was saying, this is the it, once you've been, once you've uh, come out into this mode and you're outside of your vehicle, the only way to get back into it is to click the number one. That's the main camera puts you behind the wheel of your truck. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button for me. Think about subscribing to the channel. Check it out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.